Good morning. Round four. Fight. I really like Tekken 8 Lee. I don't know why, but he just felt quite satisfying to play. Maybe it was the back two loops with the Tekken 8 combo system. I think it works really well. Or maybe it's the voice. Yeah, I think the voice is getting me. Great. Excellent. Come on, come on, come on. You know how Lee has a bunch of just frame moves like 1 3 3, which is one of the best punishers in the game, and the 3 3 4 grab? Well, when you activate Heat, these moves are no longer just frame. The just frame version will come out regardless of execution. The thing is, his voice prompts will tell you whether or not you actually hit the just frame version, whether you're in Heat or not. Excellent. But if you do hit the perfect inputs whilst you are in Heat, you start to recover some Heat time. It's been said a million times, but the personality of these characters are really shining through now. Okay, so he has a new move that's forward forward 2, it's plus 2 on block and it doesn't knock down, it sits them down. I noticed you could sway afterwards so it may be useful for combos when you're doing your back 2 route. And if you use the sway in neutral, the move becomes plus 5. Lee has a low heat engager which is really good. With his string 1, 2, 4 the last hit can no longer be held and thank god because I get hit by this so much with my mashing. But you do have a fast version and a normal version. I think it's more plus on hit if you get the fast version. Forward forward 2 also has has a slow and fast version, which again in heat, it's always the fast version. Speaking of new moves, he also has back three, a safe armor move heat engager. It can be ducked as it's a high, but it's only minus seven on block. Potentially a good move to use with the wall as well because it will wall splat. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Another heat engager is forward forward 3, it's still safe at minus 9 and I can imagine it being good for heat dash combos. But I'm not a Lee player. Back 4 counter hit, down 3 counter hit and 1 plus 2 counter hit all give you full combos. I think a move like down 3 in Tekken 8 is really good. Not too many characters get a fast counter hit launcher unless they commit to a slow move or string. His up back 3 plus 4 counter hit launches now? I'm not really sure how useful this move is, I think it's used for Oki or something. He still has forward forward 4, it knocks down. I had a feeling that his battle armor would grow on me, but I saw him in the story mode and the way he's just standing around and talking with it on, it just looks so stupid. I'm sorry man, I can understand going in a different direction and making the character, you know, change a little bit, but Lee's about that class that style. They could have even gone back to his punk days. That would have been more interesting in my opinion. His alternative suit is a suit and it is more on the classy side but it didn't really blow me away. What did blow me away though was his crib. God damn! This is a nice house. It has two wall breaks and the first one takes like three hits to break it and you get a really nice view. I like how the chandelier falls as well when there's an impact. It's quite satisfying. I also want to talk about Lee's magic 4. I know he can combo from the 4-3 but I didn't test the 4-4-4 four, 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 and I noticed it in the moveset later on in recording. I'm really annoyed I didn't check this because Magic 4 is not really a thing in Tekken 8. I don't know about 4-4. Four, four. I think his general wall combo is still the forward 4-3 four, into down 3. But I also hit the down 4 neutral 4 up forward 3 plus 4 wall combo. His slide has changed. I'm not sure if it's worse or not. I have a feeling it is worse. It's at least plus 3 on hit but it doesn't knock down and you are both left standing afterwards. If you try to slide at point blank range you're going to get fully launched for it by a while standing move because it's minus 15. The thing is it's one of those moves that if you slide at max range it's safe. Most of the time though I think it's going to be around minus 13 to 14 so you might not get comboed for it as much as you did in Tekken 7 because you get floated every time in that game. He also has a blue spot version of the slide in heat. I'm not sure if it launches or something like that on hit because on block it's still launch. Lee still has hitman stance and I didn't really notice many changes in the stance. He still has all of the same moves as he did before. The only change I noticed is that the sweep into tornadoes on counter hit. But most sweeps do that now in Tekken 8 anyway. I'm not 100% sure about the back two loops. I think they're the same difficulty but I had about three red bulls at the time of this recording and I was chilling. Shield. <laughs> Marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> 